Okay guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you to all the subscribers and the ones who come back and share my videos and like them. Today we're going to be talking about how to wirelessly connect the Samsung NU 7100 Series 65 Class LED Ultra HD 4K Smart TV to a laptop. And I'll be using a Lenovo ThinkPad um, X1 third generation, which is the two-in-one tablet and laptop. The first thing I'm going to do with my TV is I'm going to start by going to the device list and removing any devices I have already synced or listed on the TV. I have made a previous video on how to connect a laptop to the TV. Some people were able to do it right away, some people weren't. Um, we're going to show you again how to do it um, with this setup here. So, the first thing I'm going to do is start by going on my TV and clicking on the remote, going to settings. I'm going to scroll down to general, go to the right, down to external device manager, and go down to the device connect manager and you notice a device connect manager has access notifications and device list I'm going to go to device list and hit click on that and I'm going to edit okay right now I have my laptop you know listed as a device on the TV I'm going to remove it because we're going to start from new so I'm going to go over to edit and I'm going to hit select all and delete do you want to delete the selected devices? Yes. So we have no selected devices on here. We've removed them. The TV is not connected to my laptop. Okay, and we're going to start from new, essentially. So, so right now we're looking at the desktop of my ThinkPad X1 tablet, third generation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the desktop anywhere. And I'm going to go to Display Settings. And this is the same procedure for every laptop on any Windows 10 device, okay? I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to Multiple Displays here. It says Connect to a Wireless Display, okay? Now it says Older Displays may not always connect automatically. Select Detect to try to connect to them. So, I'm going to go to Connect to a Wireless Display. Now if you have multiple TVs in your home, it may pick up other displays. So hopefully you have it labeled correctly, so you can connect to the display you're trying to connect to. It's searching for the wireless display and audio devices. It's found two of them, TV Guest Bedroom Samsung 65 and TV Samsung 7 Series 65. That's in my bedroom, which is about 40 feet away, and this one is here, in the room we're trying to connect to. I'm going to go ahead and click on the top one, because that's where we are. And you'll notice it says connecting to your device. And we should see on the TV which we do see at the top right it says that a device is trying to connect it needs my permission I'm gonna hit allow so it's now connecting to my laptop and what do you see exactly as we said you see an extension of my laptop display and yes we want to allow the mouse keyboard touch and pen input from this device all right so now i'm going to get out of here i'm going to minimize this and you can see i'm looking at one display on my desk on my laptop here and an extension of this screen is right there on the TV. Now I can make these both displays um, one and the same or I can continue this as an extended display as I have now. Uh, you may want to have it like this if you're trying to work on your laptop uh, while watching say a video on the TV because you have two different screens and you can do one thing on one screen and another thing on another screen. Alright so pretty simple. I'd start by first going to your settings in your TV and removing any devices 
from the device manager that may have been connected before. And then I would go on your desktop or your laptop and right click as we did and go to display settings and connect to a wireless display as we did down here. Okay? And you see here under multiple displays. So we have extended these displays. I could also select to duplicate them, which would show the same thing on my laptop as on the TV, or I can show only on one or show only on two. All right. In this case, I want to extend these because I want to be able to do work on my laptop and do different work on my TV. So if you have any questions um, in terms of this, you can message me, comment. Um, if you're having problems with your TV that you currently have, again, we're using a Samsung TV and we're using a Lenovo ThinkPad. I'm also going to try this on LG TV, but for the most part, I do have uh, mostly Samsung TVs. So sorry if I can't help you with the type of TV I have. Um, please uh, comment, please uh, share, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and please continue to watch my videos, and I thank you for all your support.